The war drama Narvik on Netflix is set in the namesake Port City, which is caught in the crossfire of the two opposing armies during World War II. The events of the German invasion and the Allied nations and Norwegian forces' attempts to resist it are covered in the film. The Allied forces triumph after a protracted battle during which many honorable warriors were lost, returning Narvik to its residence. Winning the battle, however, does not necessarily equal winning the war. Despite the victory, the Allies leave Narvik fast, leaving the Norwegian forces defenseless against a German's resumption and increased firepower. The residents of Narvik feel abandoned, and because the bombings have completely destroyed the town, they are compelled to evacuate. One is left to question why the British, French, and Polish forces made the hasty decision to evacuate the recently conquered land. Why didn't the Allies arrive to aid Narvik and its citizens? Let's investigate. What really happened in Narvik? The Netflix film begins on April 8, 1940, when Norway is still a neutral country and is trying to strike a balance between the British and the Germans to keep both of them happy so that none of them tries to take Narvik for themselves. On the surface, both of them agree to the treaty, but on the next day, Germany reveals its real intentions and the people of Narvik experience the horror of war. Germany attacked Norway and Denmark on April 9, 1940. This battle, known as Operation Wasserabung, was crucial for the Nazis because it gave them access to Narvik, where they could readily transport the iron ore from Sweden. They took the initiative because they thought the British had similar plans. Hitler also valued Norway because he thought that Norwegians were racially superior and that mixing with them would advance his goals of strengthening the Aryan race. Thus, the German troops came in large numbers and launched a full-scale invasion in order to take Narvik and later the whole of Norway. The Norwegian forces quickly rallied and mounted an attack, with reinforcements from the British, French, and Polish soldiers in Narvik and the southern part of Norway. The surprise attack gave the Germans the upper hand, but it didn't last long. They fought back against the Germans for two months before finally pushing them out on May 28, 1940. The Norwegian army was then left to defend itself against the might of the Germans as the Allies withdrew their troops shortly after. King Haakon VII and Crown Prince Olaf fled Norway on June 7, and the Norwegian government established a government in exile in London. Norway formally submitted on June 10 and came under German rule. Why did the British and French leave? After fighting for Narvik, which was so important to them, the sudden withdrawal of the Allied forces felt like an abandonment of the Norwegians. The retreat of the Allied forces from Norway, coined Operation Alphabet, was authorized on May 24, 1940, four days before Narvik was taken back by them. On June 1, they made their plans clear to the Norwegian authorities, who, in anticipation of the German attack, left the country on June 7. The rising German assault on France and other nations like Belgium and the Netherlands was the cause of this abrupt departure. All of the soldiers from Narvik were sent there after the Allies determined that more troops were required there. It was significant because, in the days that followed, fighting in France and Belgium intensified on all fronts to the point where, on June 22, 1940, France also capitulated. Up to America's entry into the war on December 7, 1941, as a result of the attack on Pearl Harbor Britain was the only major power left engaged in combat with the Nazis at this point. While the soldiers might have left in a hurry, they tried to make sure that the citizens of Narvik were protected. British sub-lieutenant Patrick Dalzell Job organized the escape of the citizens in the local fishing boats, getting almost everyone out of Narvik as the Germans bombed it. He was later awarded the Knight's Cross of the Order of St. Olav, first class, by King Haakon VII. The British once more tried to oust the Germans with the help of the Norwegian army, but by then, the Nazi forces had complete control of the country, and all efforts against them were foiled. When Nazi Germany seized power, the people of Norway had little choice but to resist for the next five years. To combat the Nazi occupation, a resistance movement formed there. There were those who supported the administration in exile, and there were those who did not and had their own agendas. Nevertheless, guerrilla warfare and intelligence collection were among the strategies utilized by both of these parties to weaken Nazi power.